as you move through the deep roads is, you know, you're struck by the danger. You could be attacked at any time. It is dark. It is dangerous. It is very mysterious and shadowy, and you never know what's going to be around the corner. The farther that you descend, uh, the, more, the more secrets and mysteries arise and more questions that you have. It has that sense of exploration and like that fantasy of going where no one's been before or has not, have not been in a long time. The, the blight came through and the hordes of Darkspawn basically took over, destroyed much of Dwarven society, turned the deep roads from a, a thriving connection of trade to ruins, essentially, that are just infested by the evil that is the blight. Um, you've seen the Darkspawn a little bit in Inquisition, you saw them a lot in Origins and a little bit in uh, Dragon Age 2, but uh, this is the first time in Inquisition that you're really facing off against a horde. They're kind of demonic, you know, just from an art direction standpoint, they are they're pointy and they're aggressive shapes uh, in their armor and that sort of thing. Is We want them to look dangerous. The palette for the Darkspawn is so huge. We have all these little pieces that we can put together that actually create different combat situations that you've never experienced before. We really wanted to capture that, that linear dungeon crawl and infuse it with a good story. You can expect to start at the top and it's going to be layer, layer, level after level. And it's going to change as you go down. Players can expect a lot of mystery. What you think you know about the Deep Roads might not necessarily be everything about the Deep Roads. It's not just about dwarven civilization down there. There's much more than meets the eye. Show yourselves.